Hey there, Clicks Nation. So, I'm sick today. So, didn't go into work. Wasn't feeling the best. But uh, I'm feeling okay to do things, just not go to work today. So, I thought I'd do something a little bit different today. It's a new series I want to try on YouTube because I haven't been putting in a lot of YouTube videos lately. So, it's kind of like Make It Meta, but we're going to call it Figure in Focus. So, whenever I do these videos, we're going to talk about a specific character that's not very good. Um, on Make It Meta, we use kind of good figures for the most part, like Vision Prime and all the other ones we have in the past. We haven't done one in a while, actually. But um, I wanted to do a figure that I just got in the mail from... I want to give shout-outs to David Newmark for uh, selling it to me. And that is, as you can see, the new Con Ares that we were supposed to get a few years ago, I think. Um... Ares is one of my favorite guys. I think he's just so cool looking. When I saw the sculpt, I really needed him. And um, luckily, David, I believe, went to Worlds and he got one, and I was able to get one. So uh, let's go a little bit through what Ares does. Um, if you don't know Ares, this is kind of a tribute to the old one. Uh, let me pull up the old one real quick from Legacy, who I really hope gets a Legacy card one of these days because Legacy set. Um, but this guy was a beast back in the day. You know, he's got that 12 phasing, which wasn't very good. But uh, he had a 19 defense back then. Uh, so he was very hard to hit. He hit like a brick. He got into charge. He got into flurry. He got into running shot towards the end. Uh, just a very hard figure back then to take out. And um, <clears throat> they've made some decent ones currently. And this is the DC areas, not the... Which one is called the Marvel one? So we also have this one from DC 75th anniversary, which I did like. Um, they like to give him special powers in the middle of his dial, it seems like. Uh, so at the beginning, he's got that charge and everything, but he had this really cool power in the middle of his dial, of course, where it was everyone must fight. At the end of each opposing player's turn, deal one penetrating damage to each character that player controlled within four squares that didn't make an attack so if you just cleared or you didn't try to attack or you ran out of actions you just took one penetrating damage really liked him and then we got the bystander mission point one from wonder woman which is okay again he's a charged blades piece he doesn't do anything that amazing he does have the um leadership where he makes the allied soldiers or the german soldiers and then he just does uh, mission point stuff. So a very cool concept to him. Uh, and then we get, so we only have had four DC Ares, and this is the newest one we got. So let's talk a little bit about him. He's 165 points, which is a lot, especially if we're and we're talking competitive 300 point modern. So 165 points. He's Mystic Team ability. He's got the armor, deity, mystical soldier, and warrior keyword. Uh, and there's that Mystics that he usually always has, a 5 range, so it's at least a range. But there's that phasing that they start him out with. And it's a 12, so I'm pretty sure it was kind of a tribute to the old one. Um, <clears throat> let's talk a little bit about what he does for powers. He's got a trait called the Divine Aura of War, Colossal Stamina, Protected Outwit, Opposing Perplex, Opposing Probability Control, unless the targeted character is higher points or has the deity keyword. So not a lot of deities out there being played right now, especially at this point. However, there are a few high-end figures out there, such as Thanos. Um, I think that's really the highest pointed figure out there that would, um, or that trait wouldn't affect him, at least for the prop. But he starts off with an attack power, which is a weapon for every war. At the beginning of your turn, choose a standard attack power. Ares can use that attack power. That's not very good, to be honest. I mean, you got super strength if you needed the extra buff, but it was only going to do one damage. You got blades, you got energy explosion, you got second blast. There are some options for ranged power because he has a five. There's a quake <clears throat> in there. You're not picking smoke cloud. Uh, precision strike could be a thing. Uh, but most, I don't even think you'd pick blades. I honestly think you just take precision strike or energy or um, second blast just because it got the range. So it's an okay power. I just wish it was more than um, attack power. But once you once he gets hit, that's when he starts to get a little bit better. So he does have a move power, which is charge sidestep when an opposing character breaks away from Ares. 
after resolutions deal them to penetrating damage. I don't know how often that's going to happen because people aren't going to want to try to hit him unless hitting him means nothing um, because he does have invincible and invuln but and no plasticity so you really c I think what they're trying to go with this guy is you want him to just throw him up into the fight and say good luck <clears throat> and try to hit him so he's got the protected out which which helps but there are several things out there that say like the Masamura blade that just says if I hit a one through three you just don't have defensive power so that could really hurt him so I wish that power was on his first click. And then he does have a damage power, <clears throat> which is Behold Your Destiny, Exploit Weakness. At the beginning of your turn, roll a d6. Ares can use Battle Fury and has free, make a close attack. Five through six, all other characters can use Battle Fury. So that's basically the emotional modifier, but at a five through six chance of getting it. So again, it's not great. It's it could be situational. What you really want is that one through two. I wish there was a three through four option. I just wish they gave something. I don't know what that he can use outwit or perplex or something like that, or can only be attacked once this turn. Something. I don't like the fact that there's a one two and a five six and nothing between the three four. So. He's just not that good, unfortunately. I was really hoping he was going to be much better. He needed a stop click, too. You know, when you got these big DD guys out there um, that are going to be high target and 10 pull teams, they have to have a stop click. So I would have rather have had, you know, get rid of this, a weapon for every war, maybe, and make that a defensive power for, like, two stop clicks. Make these two impervious stop clicks. I don't know. So let's look a little bit for his um, support. What can you do with this guy? So let's look, let's bring him up over here. I just have him over here just so everyone can see what he's doing at all times. Um, so he is part of our team. We have 135 points left. There is not a ton to work with here. You're probably not going armor. There's not much there. Wizkiz doesn't do anything. Colossus doesn't do anything. Uh, Destroyer Prime. No, unless you have him on your sideline. So there's not much for that keyword. Now let's go over to Didi. Didi, again, not much. There's Storm from Exosaurus, but that's just going to give you Perplex um, Annihilation. But again, Perplex plus some more minions. So, But that's looking into a lot of points. Let's see, just throw her in there. Yeah, you're already at 235. You really need some support in here to help him survive. Uh, Loki could be something. Not this one, but the um, this one. Just to get some probs in there. So, you know, you could do one of him and a couple of these guys. Let's Actually, let's work with Didi for a second. So we have... Um, how many of these guys you need? You need five or more. So we got one, two, three, four. Might as well throw on one more for good luck. And then you're at 255. You really probably need a TK with this guy just to get him up there in the fight. Surters aren't bad because he will be getting the first hit. So maybe we'll come back to Surter in a minute. I don't think we need this many Lokis for DD. But let's see if there's anything else worthwhile on here. Um, I always love Sprite. Not this one, though, apparently. <laughs> this one is not the rare one. So we're not going with Sprite. Uh, Blackheart, I think he's... Maybe we can work with something there. But let's look a little bit more into any more other good DDs in here. I'm not seeing much here. House of X, Magneto, there's no... TK, and then we got Justice League, which there just isn't a lot there. Um, but let's stick with DD for a second here. Uh, Thanos is there, but you're not using him. Um, so I would probably throw a Surter on there. It leaves you at... I hate the 20-point version, or 20 points left over, because that's such an awkward amount. Um, if that was the case, I would probably... Go with I don't know a Scott Porter Pog or a Spirit of the Game. I don't think he needs Spirit of the Game at least. Um, so Dee is something. It's gonna give you a, what one, 
one, two, three, four, five probs plus three team probs. So I don't think you're going with um, DD. But Loki's, you know, Loki's are good. We saw at Nationals that Loki's team make uh, a pretty good team because uh, that one guy, sorry, I forget your name. It's, it's early, I'm sick. Um, got second place against Isaac. So let's look into Mystical. Actually, we'll save Mystical to last. Soldier. A couple better things in here. Uh, Abigail Brand. You couldn't do anything with that, to be honest. Problem with Soldier is there's no TK. Uh, there's enough flyers out there. Power Broker could be decent because you could just have Ares go every single turn. Um, US Agent's always good just because he's just another powerhouse hitter. Uh, so let's throw on, uh, what's his name? <laughs> US Agent. Um, with Soldier Keyword, you're really getting into more of attackers than support figures, so I don't think that's the way to go, to be honest. Yeah, there's just not much. Uh, you could, you know, actually, you could, I would actually take off US Agent and put on. Uh, Marvel, just for a little bit more staying power for him. But honestly, I'm just going to stop because I don't think there's enough in soldiers. And Warrior, let's see what we got here. Um, nothing much in here. I don't, I'm not, nothing's really popping out at me, to be honest, unless I am missing something, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. There's not much in War of the Realms. Yeah, there's not much. Tachaka, maybe, just to maybe get some potential misses on him. Uh, does he have stealth? He does. So it's another leadership that could take it off him. Let's let's put that on there. Um, Hulkling. It's just we're already at 210 with two figures. It's just not that good. Um, Icarus, that doesn't do anything for us. I was hoping that was Sprite. Um, yeah, it's sorry. You're probably going Mystical. Because even with Mystical, you can do the Loki team. So the first figure we always pick when we go with a Mystical team is, of course, Felix Faust. So let's find him and throw, just throw him on here right away because um, if I can find him on here, he should be on here. Um, well, let's just do this. Faust. Hey, there he is. He's Mystical, right? Okay. That was weird. I couldn't find him. All right, so there's our mystical guy right there. All right, so what else do we have on this team? We have, we need a TK. There's plenty of TK in here. We just have to find it. Who would be a good cheap TK person? Uh, probably not using anything from Exus Sword just because um, maybe magic as a carry, as a proper, but there's a lot more proppers out there. Uh, we're not using Merlin. I don't see that being a good fit. Uh, you're probably... Agnes isn't bad. We'll throw her on there for right now. We're already at 240. Um, but that is a TK. And is that it? I forget what else she does. Um, she generates a Scratchy. And then Scratchy does do some decent things for her. So let's keep her on there for right now as a TKer. Um, I really do like, if I can find them, you're probably not doing Doctor Strange, there's just not much there. Um, the Recruit, no, there's probably not much there, to be honest. Um, I really do like the, if I can find her, I like the Scarlet Witch because she is TK, Prob, and Outwit, and I really like her Rally, the problem is that it's on your friendly attack rolls, so that's probably not going to come into play much. Uh, but just the, you really got to pair up with Dr. Moyer and Metagrid on X-Men team. Um, so we are at, we have 60 points left. You could do another Loki and a 10 point Loki. It's probably not worth playing Jubilee because you're only going to be in a, about a four initiative and most teams out there are, um, what is that? seven eight nine so there's really no point so you honestly might even go unthemed with this guy but my ocd won't let me go unthemed with a lot of teams so if i do pick a figure that i want to play with i do go theme um let's look if there's anything else on here strife there's nothing 
I think Faust is a unique. Yeah, he is unique, so you're not playing more of him. Oh, unfortunately, there's just not a lot on here. Wiccan gets you prob and a plus one defense to Ares and Faust and Agnes. Um, so that'd be a 19, but unfortunately 19s just aren't much these days. Pixie's not bad because that's another prob and carry. I don't have any carriers, so maybe that gives me 15 points. Uh, if I had Windigos, there you go, but I don't have any Windigos. Um, let's keep looking a little bit more. The New Zatanna is not much. Jumpa is not much. Uh, does this Ares have leadership? He doesn't even have leadership. But Agnes does not have leadership. So I have no leadership right now. That's cool. So you could take off Pixie and throw on a Jumpa and Wonder Woman. So at least you have some retail and some leadership. Um, yeah, there's not. Actually, you know what? Uh, ooh, it might actually work. So you could do Kid Loki. Nope, that's the wrong Loki. I want Kid Loki. Is the other one not mystical? Whoa, well, that's because I'm not looking the right set. I need this Kid Loki. So this Kid Loki plus a emotional modifier is not bad. I like him because he's got the leadership and he's got the negative one value. You got the Jimmy Woo who gives you perplex. There is a Doctor Strange here that would be outwit and a carrier. It's tough. It really is. You know what? I think you have to do Ares and Faust. Egg. Are there any other cheap TKs out there besides Agnes? I don't really see any out there, to be honest. It's tough. It really is. I, I wish there were better options. And you can't get much cheaper than 45 points there. Um, and it's stealth. Let's take her off right now um, and just see if we can find any other cheap TKers. Billy's not, 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 not. Lots of knots out here. Um, Enchantress, wait, this one? There we go, 25 points Enchantress. So that gives you 50 points, that's a TK. You need a flyer. So I think what I would do at least is I would do that pix <clears throat> excuse me, that pixie that we just had. Uh, if I can find her quick. She was here somewhere. Just gotta find her. I'm sure I scrolled past her and everyone's yelling at me right now. Um You know what? We're just gonna do this. Pixie. That gives you five points left, so we could do an object. What's a good object? Maybe the cloak? Um, see, the reason why I don't like the cloak to put on Ares is because you want them to try to break away. Actually, he's right here. You want them to break away, and the cloak is going to give you plasticity. And it does give him flight. It does give him sidestep. But he gets sidestep and he is a flyer. I keep clicking on it. He is a flyer already. So I don't think that is good enough. Um, and like I said, you don't want the plasticity. You want people to try to break away from him, potentially. Kid Loki is the only one I'm kind of iffy about. You got 35 points left. Let's look at some more mysticals real quick. Um, see if there's anything worthwhile. Uh, Captain Britain, not really. Magic's another prob. Uh, this gal is 40, so that's not even enough. I don't have a prime, which is good, because then you could have Destroyer Prime on your sideline, so that's probably a, a win right there, at least. Um... You're not doing the support, because support's not going to be much. Billy's going to be too much. I'm trying to think if I take off Kid Loki, I have 35 points left over, and there's just not much 
there, to be honest. So, you're probably just doing a five point object. I don't know what, though, to be honest. Um, I don't know how to search just by objects on this. So, let me bring it over to HC Realms real quick and just do a five by five. Let's see what we got here. So we have Super Soldier Serum, Captain Shield, US Agent Shield, Carter, the Tesseract. You're not doing the Tesseract. That's Pumpkin Bombs, Dimensional Watch. Um, you might just do uh, Captain America's Shield just to give him ESD. Or uh, not Captain Carter's Shield. Um, US Agent Shield just to give him some reflexes. I don't know. It's tough. I wish there was more. Red Wings 10, Tesseract. You're not doing Tesseract. Um, I guess I would do US Agent Shield, to be honest. That's an old team. Um, so let's just throw that in here. <clears throat> uh, US Agent Shield, I guess. Just to give him a 20 up close. He's just not good. Um, I wish there was better. And like I said, th this new segment's not going to be about figures that are good, but figures that I like that I wish they made maybe a little bit better and the best possible way to make a competitive team. I still think this is a fun team. So we got Ares, Felix Faust, Kid Loki uh, for the leadership and for the negative modifier. Enchantress for the TK Outwit. And Pixie, just, she can carry three people, I believe. One, two, three. So you can carry three people and then bloop with Felix. So that works. And then you got um, the prob there, the prob there, the and then the three team probs. So it's something. It's not great, but it's something. Um, I just don't think the cloak. Cloak is like the best object in the game right now. Uh, actually, I take that back because of all the swords. There's probably something better, but they're 10 points, so you can't even fit this on the team. But that is kind of what this whole um, segment's going to be about. Hopefully, you guys like it. If there is a figure on that you want me to try to do, please miss. Oh God, that was a wrong burp. Uh, please let me know on Facebook uh, what you would like, and I will do my best to make some teams. Uh, I'm not the greatest honestly but i like to think i'm pretty good at, at team building i think that's one of my strengths in hero click so um check out for more videos on youtube uh hopefully we'll get some product from whiz kids and we can do a avengers forever unboxing hopefully we get a scott porter video coming up soon but that is going to be it for tonight um hope everybody out there is feeling better than i am and just stay tuned for more podcasts and more content on our Facebook page and our YouTube channel. So, again, thanks, everyone, for supporting on the Patreon and everything. Patreon is going to be in a couple days with giveaways. So if you want to be part of that, head on over to our Patreon at patreon.com backslash clicksing it. And also check out our sponsor, Glass Cabin Hobbies. But until next time, guys, make sure you guys are staying safe out there. And as always, keep clicking it.